I'm going to tell you how to become an electrical officer with our special lady. Why? Why did you join this profession? It's a crime, and you can definitely put the guy behind bars. Ten percent battery. Hold on, bye. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our day. I see you are doing absolutely amazing. And on this special occasion of Christmas, you see this beautiful Christmas tree we have set up. I have taken this opportunity to tell you guys how to become an electrical officer. And Romita over here, she is our electrical officer on board. Emma, she is going to tell you how to become an uh, ETO, ETO. Uh, or electrical officer. Or electrical officer from India. In any case, guys, if you don't understand my words or her words, I will put in the description down below. Uh, so you can see the links to the various websites and you know the exact criteria. Like I have shown you in my earlier videos, how to join uh, Merchant Navy as a elect uh, navigational officer or marine engineer. So you can check that out if you haven't checked it out yet. So okay, Ramita, first question: How did you uh, join this? Like, what is the exact criteria in twelfth and? Uh, your degree yeah i'll just go with the procedures okay. first uh, in 12th you need uh, 60% in pcm okay 60% in pcm in pcm uh, 50% in english okay just a moment uh, guys pcm is very important for all the fields in merchant navy except for the gp ratings uh, that's why pcm is a must in 12th and 50% english, in english yeah. same for the dns bsc and btech so that's a standard we have as per the guidelines Okay, and then and then uh, we need diploma or degree in electrical engineering, mm -hmm. electronics engineering, or okay. electronics and communication, okay. electronics and telecommunication. These are eligible branches for ETU course. So three, four things, right? Yeah. People would like to know uh, what was your process of the entire degree? Like, how did you start and how when did you finish? Uh, so for if if you are suppose example if you are going for Tolani yeah so pre C course for that also you have to undergo uh, technical interview and HR interview two interviews yeah two interviews okay. will be there and also one written exam will be there TMI SAT that's yeah. what they call yeah. okay that's uh, that's yeah. mandatory written exam yeah. and two you have to clear that you have to once you clear your written you have to go for technical interview okay and then HR interview and then uh, four years uh, four, four uh, Oh, oh, yes. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it's four months pre C course. You have to undergo with that. Okay. And during that course itself, uh, there will be campus placement. Okay. You have to appear for interview mm -hmm. in various companies. So you got campus placement by Musk in Tolani. Tolani, yeah. Okay. So and other companies also come in. Yeah, Tolani? other companies are also coming, but okay. for me, first company was Musk, so I got selected. Okay, okay, yeah. that's fine. And then after you complete four months, then you go on board. On board eight months training as a cadet, as a trainee ETO or a cadet, trainee ETO or a cadet, yeah. and then you go back. Then we uh, appear for COC exams. COC is yeah. certificate of competence. Certificate of competence. That's the license, guys, which uh, we all have to clear from the MMDs, which is the Mercantile Marine Departments in various uh, states in India. They conduct examinations. Yeah. Then you get your ticket to uh, sail as an officer, and then you come on board as a ETO. ETO. Yeah, as a senior means. As a senior. Yeah. Uh, the rank after trainee. ETO. Trainee ETO, and then there's another rank which is the senior. Which, which ETO. is what you are now. <laughs> ETO. ETO. <laughs> ETO, guys. That thoda confusing hai aata hai. It's a it's a it's a bit confusing, guys. To be honest, we also get it. But anyway, any certain restriction on the degree percentage? While you complete, like yeah, we need sixty percent. You need sixty percent. Yeah. So, guys, sixty percent is a must. Below that, I don't think the institutes are taking. Yeah, it's a eligibility criteria. You should be eligible for that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and Ramita, what are the best colleges in India right now? Because guys want to know. Uh, keep I'll asking me. I will go with uh, where I have done is Tolani. Yeah. That is one of the best college. Okay. Practical, theoretical, every knowledge is very good. Okay. Then another institute which I know is Amet. Amet, okay. Great Eastern. Great Eastern. Anglo Eastern. And Anglo Eastern. And Anglo Eastern. Well, yeah. Okay, so these are the three four colleges, but you can do your research as well. She done from Tolani, so I'm also from Tolani, ex Tolani type. So we know the institute is good, and we've got placed from there. So that was a good campus, yeah, campus placement. Campus placement is very good. Mm -hmm. So you you can go for Tolani as well. It's not a problem. Okay, yeah, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, on this occasion of having a female seafarer, I also wanted to put some insights of how our experience has been being the only female uh, on board. So let's ask her a few questions I have prepared, and uh, you can give your honest opinion, Romita. 
if you want to say something because a lot of girls are also watching this and are aspiring yeah. to become yeah. seafarers okay so ramit the first question i had was what is the toughest part being on board as a as a seafarer as a female seafarer uh, what i experienced was like yeah. acceptance from the crew acceptance yeah, acceptance okay. uh, they means it's a trust issues yeah. whether if, if i am a female how can i do this job that job so it's a trust issues trust issues yeah. okay. acceptance okay. first of all acceptance, acceptance. okay yeah. okay ramata that's the toughest but i can tell you guys uh, i have seen her work in multiple occasions really nice and uh, for me personally i don't have any trust issues i know that once the cargo is coming the reefers are coming she is there to take care of it thousand reefers guys like i told you she's taking care of it by with another cadet so mostly she is the, the sole responsibility for the reefer so yeah, responsible person that's I a tough on one board. and uh, yeah thanks ramita for that is it safe for females to be on board like do you think there's any issues which you want to you know uh, safety wise security wise i never feel there is any issues on board that's good so know, it's yeah. a good good uh, career option you can definitely yeah. just go for it but no nothing but wrong. it is quite tough being the only female seafarer right yeah sometimes i, I would say even i feel that you know you are alone uh, and you know guys are just in groups and you know uh, yeah some loneliness will be there but yes you have some other uh, facilities you can play you can cook you yeah. have you can read books you can watch some movies i, I like that own ways, yeah. that's that's nice ramita that's yeah. that's good to know yeah. some of the next question i was are you treated equally on board yeah it depends upon company as well it depends on the yeah, company. The company on the crew members crew yeah. members and company yeah both. so yeah for me yeah i treated equally. you're treated equally yeah. that's good to know that's good to know okay now the next question is have you faced any uncomfortable situation or harassment on board uh, see harassments are of two types physical and mental physical yeah. i never faced that's okay. never uh, never wish to be yeah but, i hope uh, never happens never yeah. happens with it's anybody. a crime and you can definitely put the guy behind bars behind and bars. you should yeah yeah <laughs> and mental harassment yeah sometimes like mm-hmm. i said trust issues mm-hmm. if someone will uh, just question you about how you can do that and mm-hmm. that it's it's a common for female in initial days but i can tell you even guys are mentally harassed with if you have yeah, really bad yeah, if you have really bad things, yeah. people on board it happens it has happened with me it's happened with it happens with everyone so that we have to deal with and you know just uh, cope up and not get into a fight or something just just let it pass because yeah. in the end you come here and then you might na- not ever see each other again right it's so just you have to just you have to uh, <laughs> calm yourself are you able to manage the physical jobs because they require a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, it's demanding it's it's not so easy yeah it's physically demanding yes yeah. i am able to do that but sometimes yeah i have to change compressor whose weight is 40 kg 50 kg definitely for that i need some assistance yeah that's true but, but uh, most overall, of the jobs i can manage you can manage so ramada coming back to uh, one important question i had like what is the scope of female seafarers now during the current sena- scenario and the future scenarios you know Do you see more females if they are joining yeah, this? Yeah, I see more females are coming for this uh, profession, yeah. and uh, now awareness is much more compared to previous years. Mm-hmm. Like now, people know that this few, uh, this also we can take mm-hmm. as our uh, career path. Career path. So yeah, definitely it's a pride. Yeah, and, and I will be more. I was telling towards. Ramita that I have sailed with three females if they are on one ship. That was my second officer, chief officer, and uh, cadet. So definitely you are getting increasing it is increasing ask question matlab i was really uh, curious about knowing this that why why did you <laughs> join this profession uh, since i have done electrical engineering yes. and my wish was to i want to sail on ship no matter how since since childhood well, yeah mean, since childhood you wanted was, to sail yeah, and I, you had any family which was uh, No, no, no family background. I'm the first one from okay. my family that who joined Merchant Navy. Guys, <laughs> so ETO was the only option for me. ETO was the only option. Yeah, okay. and ETO is unique itself. And uh, if you see ratio of uh, female sea pairs in yeah. engine department, deck yeah. department, and ETO department, yeah, you will see ETO is very less. I have actually so it's the first time. Unique. Yeah. When you were joining, I was like, okay, <laughs> that's new, because I have seen navigation officers, marine engineers, but not in every company. You can see ETO officers, lady ETO yeah, officers are very rare. Quite rare. Yeah, quite rare. that was a video for the electro technical officer and a female seafarer on board ramita thank you so much and uh, i will say i will put a link of uh, ramita's facebook id so you can contact her 
only for information guys <laughs> no extra <laughs> so but in any case guys if you found this video informative and got some new new insights don't forget to like share and subscribe bye <laughs> thank you